Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and we're still waiting for the investigation into the Rust shooting with actor Alec Baldwin at the center of it. Is he responsible? I've gotten some flack. I got an email the other day about someone saying, I have no empathy for Alec Baldwin. The truth is, I did. I did. However, the more and more Alex out there denying accountability, uh, the more issue I have. I, I, I think Alec Baldwin is responsible, and I'm not the only one who thinks that. Actor Nicolas Cage, who I'm a big fan of, uh, maybe I'm being a little uh, clickbaity in my title, I'll admit it. I don't know if he's slamming him, but it f- kind of feels like he is. I'm curious, what do you think? Am I, was, did, is he slamming or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but he's definitely calling him out. He's definitely calling him out while saying, look, I'm not calling him out, but I'm calling you out, Alec. Uh, Nicolas Cage gave a really, and we're going to play the clip, uh, gave a really interesting quote uh, about how it's really part of the job to know your weapons on these sets. And Alec Baldwin should have known better. Uh, so I want to play this roundtable conversation with, uh, it, was a, it was a Hollywood Reporter piece with uh, Jonathan Majors, Andrew Garfield, uh, Peter Dinklage, Simon Rex, uh, and uh, Nicolas Cage himself were all there. Uh, and this is the portion where they, the moderator asked about it. Peter Dinklage and, and, and Andrew Garfield sort of all were like, yeah, we got we to gotta make change. But Nicolas Cage, while sitting on it, came back with this response. Nick, I know the armor was I don't want to I don't want to cast blame anywhere. No. Um, but I do think and I'm and I'm not talking about anybody, but I'm not talking about anybody. He says that because he's talking about Alec Baldwin. He's talking about and sort of implying about Alec Baldwin and I'm sure Nicholas Cage, who's a good guy. Like I don't think he's trying to like call it out, but at the same time what he's about to say is important. He's trying to say, look, like I I'm talking about Alec Baldwin, but you know People don't like the word movie star. They, they you know, we, we want to be like humble actors. But a movie star is a, a bit of a different kind of uh, presentation because you need to know how to ride a horse. You need to know how to fight. You're going to do fight scenes. You need to know how to ride a motorcycle. You need to know how to use a stick shift and drive sports cars. And you do need to know how to use a gun. You do. You need to take the time to know what the procedure is. Um, those are part of the job profiles. Now, the stuntman and the movie star are two jobs that coexist. They coexist. Every stuntman needs to be a movie star, and every movie star needs to be a stuntman. That's just mm. part of the profile. Mm. And that, that's all I'm going to say about it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna well said, bro. Well, I'm yeah, thank well you. said. Well said. Well said. It was well said. It was really well said because it points to the, the issue of Alec. You didn't know how to use that weapon. You say you took the training, but did you? Because had you taken the training, we got professionals like Nicholas Cage here who's done it a lot, uh, acknowledging like that's part of the job, bro. You got to know how to work it. You don't just get to scoot the responsibility. Well, I was handed this and uh, I didn't do anything. No, there's, there's, we've gone through it, guys. We've played it. In fact, I'm going to show it up here again. If you missed the video, the, the most damning part of it was where we went through and the experts have shown with the weapon in hand that was in, in question, there's no way for it to have gone off without Alec holding down the trigger. It's just impossible. And so... He's saying, well, it just, it just doesn't work that way. There are people have shown the same weapon. They've put it out there. Alec, you didn't know what you were doing. It's very clear because there's no other way it happened. If there was a faulty issue, every expert has come out and said that would be very easy to deduce. And then we, this would be over. But it's very clear that there wasn't a faulty issue with it. You were holding it. You pulled back and you didn't realize that you weren't supposed to do that. Now, was that bad training? Potentially, yeah. I'm not saying Alex is the only one who's not respo- who's, who's responsible here. I think there's multiple people responsible here. Don't get me wrong. However, Alec is out there trying to deny responsibility, not take accountability. Look, I, I feel for Alec Baldwin. I, I can't even imagine what it's going, what he's going through. Uh, I, I don't want to try to guess. It's it's got to be horrific to know that you're responsible for this. However, dude, you you are responsible. You did not do the job correctly as a movie star which alec which alec baldwin is just like nicholas cages these are movie stars we know who they are they're very popular they've been around for a while nicholas cage is right on now nicholas cage is being careful he's not trying to like point out and say to alec baldwin but i'm gonna say it i'm gonna read between the lines here and i do think this is a slam at you alec because look you're are you are you not a movie star then are you are you gonna try and say oh i'm just a, i don't know what i'm doing here i'm just doing showing up and reading the lines uh, that 
Come on, man. You are. You you know the job title. You've done it along as long as longer probably than than Nicolas Cage has. You've been in this business a long time, and Nicolas Cage is spot on. And I'm gonna go even beyond. It's not even just the stunt people. It's all these people. Any 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 of these experts who are helping to step in and speak on behalf of actors. It is your job to do the homework and research and training to know the most important parts of it so you can perform your job as an actor. Is it not? So for everybody out there who thinks I'm piling on Alec Baldwin, I don't know what you're you're in La La Land. I I I don't like that Alec Baldwin to this day is still out there trying to do interviews and Instagrams and now he's he's he looks like Trump's he looks like his own Trump impression with his ego out there talking about I'm getting the most apologies I've ever gotten and uh, I'm thank you guys so much. Look, I, I know he's grieving. I do I do believe he, he and his family are grieving. I can't imagine what that's like. However, Alec, shut up. Stop trying to to spin this in the PR move like you had nothing to do with this because you absolutely had something to do with this. When I see experts actors movie stars like nicholas cage george clooney all these people stepping up and everybody there is clearly nodding green like yeah no one wants to say it like nicholas cage just said it he said it pretty eloquently without sort of bashing you but it was directed at you sir alec baldwin it was and you know it and you're out there doing uh interviews with george stephanopoulos claiming about anybody who's coming doesn't know what they're talking about no alec you don't know what you're talking about and you still refuse to accept that you did not get proper training. Now, is that on Hannah Gutierrez or whatever, the, the armor? Yeah, she, it was her job to train you. But, but you've been in this business for decades. Decades. You got lazy, in my opinion. I, in my opinion, you got lazy. You deferred to them and you shouldn't have deferred to them. As Nicolas Cage said, movie stars come with other jobs. You got to know how to be a stuntman. You got to know how to be the arms person. You got to do this for your own benefit. And if anything, I do think as everyone's here and, and we all say, like, oh, change, change. Is it going to happen? I do think it's going to happen now. I think it's been so long since we've had a real tragedy like this on set that actors aren't going to make the same mistake Alec Baldwin made because they're going to learn and go, damn, he looks guilty, right? He looks responsible. And they're going to make sure if they are handed something, they're going to be like, can you show it to me right now? And that's what Alec should have done. Oh, but it's going to cost money. Oh, we can't do this. We're in a rush. BS, man. BS. And that woman who was, oh, oh hand it to the AD. Dude, Alec Baldwin. What were you thinking? I'm sorry. You are responsible. And the only reason I'm hounding on this is because I see so much in the media protecting Alec and trying to let him get it. Oh, it was an accident. Like, I don't believe he had intent to do this on purpose. Let me be clear. But he's responsible. Those, those can be the same thing. You can still accidentally be responsible for someone and, and have to pay for account you know, pay for this and take the accountability, which Alec refuses to do. He's, he's always blaming. How did it get there? How did it get there? You should have checked it. That's why the system is in place on sets. So you, the actor, the movie star, the professional who has the most experience over everybody there knows better than the people you're hiring who haven't been there. This woman who clearly you knew hadn't been as trained as others. You knew this. And the AD should never hold those, ever. So uh, bravo to Nicolas Cage for putting it so eloquently. I'm a real big fan of Nicolas Cage. I cannot wait for his next movie where he plays himself, the unbearable weightness of being Nicolas Cage or whatever it's called. Uh, it looks fantastic, the tra trailer. Also, if you haven't seen Pig from last year, a fantastic movie he did. Uh, Nicolas Cage, a lot of people want to knock on him for his weird lifestyle and some movie choices, but uh, I'm a huge fan of Nicolas Cage, and I think what he said here is so spot on. So bravo, sir, for having the guts to speak up when everyone else there in that panel was terrified as you spoke. They were just sitting there like, so like, uh, what do we see? You're going to see them all just like, what are we gonna, what's he going to say? Well, I don't want to call anybody out because everyone's going to be careful in this town, but you had the guts to do it because you're an experienced movie star, just like I would argue Alec Baldwin should have been, or so I thought he was. Turns out we were wrong. Uh, Alec, stop putting out Instagram posts and things trying to, oh, uh, it's all, I get it. It sucks, but you are responsible. If you had just owned it from the beginning as an accident, I didn't know. I, I guess I was told not to do it. You, you, you didn't. You've been saying it's this. How did it get there? I, I da, da, da. You pulled it. You pulled it and you didn't check it. There are safeguards in place to prevent it. This was preventable. It's just a tragedy. Hit the subscribe button if you can. Hit the bell for all alerts. Smash that like button and leave a comment down below to help the algorithm in this video get the word out there. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We'll be live today. We're going to do some feel-good Friday stories. It's not always bad news here on the channel. So come support us around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.